And whenever you look into this and we break it down, there's going to be key categories I want to walk you through, such as Pell, Teach, SEOG, Work Study, Direct Loans, Plus Loans, and Private Educational Loans. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is something that everyone loves, and that is a grant that does not have to be paid back. Some people mistakenly refer to some of these programs as free money. It is not free. We're all paying for it with our tax dollars. However, you do not have to pay this money back as a student. So whatever you qualify for is what you get. If we get your FAFSA in, you could be determined to earn as much as $6,345 for the year that you're in college, including your fall and spring semester. That's a lot of money. The other grant that I want to talk about is the Supplementary Educational Opportunity Grant. And that grant can be as high as another $1,000 a year to help you finance your education. Again, that's going to be a number that we'll determine when we get your FAFSA information in. But we do want to let you know that that's another valuable opportunity that you could be getting to finance your education. The next opportunity that we want to talk to you about is an opportunity available to teachers in any of our programs at Johnson University. All of our programs are teach grant eligible and could set you up for another $37.64 every year you're at Johnson. You can take down a combined amount of $16,000 in teach grant funds. How do you qualify for the teach grant? Well, every year you're gonna to need to complete an agreement to serve, you're gonna to need to teach in a high need field or teach in an elementary, secondary school or educational serving agency, serving low income students and be willing to serve four out of the eight years since graduating in one of those settings. Now that is a phenomenal opportunity and a strategic way to finance your education. However, if you don't serve those four out of eight years or don't uh, fulfill the criteria of the TEACH grant, that TEACH grant will turn into an unsubsidized loan. So definitely make sure that this is something that you're passionate about or willing to do. But if you are, that is a great opportunity to finance your education. And you may want to consider signing up for the TEACH grant. Now the TEACH grant, to sign up for that, you can see on this screen here that there are two key things that we're going to want you to do. You're going to complete your entrance counseling and you're going to complete your agreement to serve. And you'll do that agreement to serve each year uh, for every year that you take a TEACH grant out. The other opportunities at Johnson is the Tennessee State Aid. So if you graduated from a high school in Tennessee, there is a lot of money out there that we would love to connect you with, including funding that comes from the HOPE Grant, Aspire, uh, General Merit, TSAA, Promise, Dual Enrollment. Um, there are even a few more programs not mentioned there. There's a lot of Tennessee state aid that you can be eligible for. So definitely complete the FAFSA, get us your information, and we would love to start working with you to see how much state aid you can qualify for to finance your education. Now, after you've looked at some of these options that don't require you to pay these funds back, you might still be seeing a little bit of a bottom line that you're not comfortable with uh, funding out of your savings account or out of your checkbook. 